Hey, what is up guys? It's back for my third fighting game tutorial. Today we are going to be finish finishing up the jumping portion of the movement. And we're done with the movement. We can go on from there. We can start with, you know, him punching, double punching, kick, combos, all that fun stuff where uh, you can be really creative. So, if you didn't see my last two tutorials... There'll probably be an annotation in the top left taking you there. So if you didn't see it, then go ahead and click up here. Okay, so we're going to be finishing up. <clears throat> Just to recap on what we ended up with last time. Uh, ooh, look. Okay, so he jumps. He doesn't even... Even when you jump, he doesn't jump right away here. And uh, looks like I just found a problem. Okay, so if you follow my last two tutorials on the movement, for the OBJ player in the step event, go ahead and click not. My fault. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, there'll probably be an annotation for that. But I didn't do that just until now. So, All right. So, key press up. What it's going to do is it, first off, we're going to uh, check the jump FAC, which we put right here. So it equals zero, and zero is when you turn right. So we're just going to add some code. So jump FAC equals zero. Jump FAC equals one. So left is 1 and right is 0. So when you key press up, it's going to check if jump FAC is equal to 0. Else, so we're going to just draw on. So if he's 0, that means he's facing right. And if he's not 0, that means he's facing left. Which is pretty easy. We're also going to put in jumping e equals true. I think we already have that up here, don't we? Yeah, we already have that up here. So, <clears throat> this should happen right off the bat now that he uh, is in jumping mode. Oh my god. Never mind, folks. In the step event, <laughs> D click not. Oh my god. All right, I'm getting a little, little rusty here. Okay. So yep, he starts off jumping right away. And yeah, he doesn't really. He doesn't really stay in the air though even if you click so we got to fix that it's maybe a little confusing to you just follow what i do here because all right so i'm gonna try to explain this as best as i can on key release left what you're gonna do is uh you're gonna check if he's in the air so if he's in the air he's not going to turn to his normal stance which is this stance right here He's going to turn in. He's gonna no wrong sprite. He's gonna stay in this stance, the sprite. So we're going to check. So if jumping is equal to false for key release left, else. So if it is true, this means else. If it is true, it's going to stay left. Hope that makes sense. Paste that down. Just paste it down one more time. Pretty much the same thing as what we just did a second ago. So false. Instead of left, it's going to be right. And there we go. So now he will jump in the air, and he won't go to his normal stance anymore. I'll go ahead and show you.
So you see, he does not go to his normal stance, but when you drop down, he doesn't really stay out of it. He's still jumping. So collision with floor. This is going to happen with the collision with floor. We're going to test variable if jump FAC is equal to zero. This means if he's facing right. Okay, so if he is in this position, when he drops, he's going to turn into the stance or sprite of him facing right. Hopefully this makes sense to you. I don't really know how to word it any better. Or, yeah. Um, Elsie's just going to drop into the left. Yeah. So we go ahead and try that out. So he jumps. And he's back to his normal stance. Oh, we forgot to add one thing here. When he hits the floor, jumping has to equal false. Because if jumping doesn't equal false, he'll still be in this stage where jumping equals true, which will trigger off the sprites of him jumping. So make sure you set that to false when he hits the floor. So, yep, I see he gets, he gets kind of stuck in the ground here. Uh, you, you can mess with the origin yourself. That's all with the origin deal here. You see how his feet are kind of get stuck and I can't really move. Uh, for the origin of your sprite, make it 64. 64. And that should just fix all that. So you shouldn't get stuck in the ground anymore. So we go ahead and save the executable. And he, he's in, he jumps. Oh, he still gets stuck on the floor. You just mess with the origin, he gets stuck down more. I think I went down. You want to go up. So like 70. Just make sure this is up. Nope, that's down. <laughs> I am looking like such a noob. Alright, go to 40. And... 40. God, am I looking like a noob. Alright. <clears throat> he should not get stuck in the ground now. Yeah, you see how it kind of bounces up, though? You, It's all origin. Just mess with it. And get it perfectly and how you like it. So, yeah, that's basically your movement engine. This is how your player's going to move in the game. This is how I want him to move. So, yeah. Next tutorial is going to be punching, kicking, slapping, jaw-breaking, awesomeness so yeah i will see you guys next tutorial in part four see ya